welcome and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel as well thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate you guys so so much so for today's video guys it's actually a highly requested video for my subscribers you know who you guys are and thank you so much as well for supporting me all through this way in my youtube journey so as promised guys today's video is actually an updated review video on my remington blowout brush that i did purchase myself with my very own money five months ago so this video is actually not sponsored it's a hundred percent my opinion and my experience through using this product Before we get started on to this video if you're new to my channel as well please give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out of my future videos. So guys this is the blowout brush that i did purchase by myself with my very own money so this video is not sponsored at all it's 100 percent my opinion that i did purchase all by myself um, I decided to purchase this about five months ago because I wanted something that I could dry my hair and style it at the same time just to save some money as well. So I found it um, super useful and um, right now my hair is um, done with the blowout brush um, from Completely Dry Hair. Um, just the thing that I did notice is that it takes a little bit longer to style your hair with a blowout brush than a hair dryer. But then when you compare the times in drying your hair with a hair dryer and then with a curling iron as well, it does all add up to about almost an hour long. So this is definitely a time saver for me for day to day use. So I typically wash my hair um, every second day, but if it's in the colder months, probably every third day or so. Um, so I do dry my hair um, completely when it's dried up. And if you want to see that video on how it looks like, I'll put it down in the link below or up there on the screen. You'll see something to click on. So to dry your hair with this blowout brush, from completely damp hair it takes about 25 minutes for me and just keep in mind as well that everyone has different hair types hair colors and textures as well so it might take longer or faster to dry for others so my hair is naturally straight on its own and it takes me about 25 minutes long to have it completely dry one thing that I did notice is that if you're looking to buy a blowout brush like this for the purpose of curling your hair um, unfortunately it didn't really give me curls that I wanted so the blowout brush is more to give you a C curl effect. Curl it a bit or give it a bit of volume um, at the bottom. So my hair is really long right now and it is layered so I do have over layered hair. So what I find is that at the bottom my hair is um, more curled inwards which I did it on purpose um, by just curling it in with the blowout brush like that. But if you did want the outcome of say big waves um, like a beach hair kind of style um, what you can do is actually try to curl it in all the way um, as high as you can and hold it a little bit longer and if you do that I do find that it does give more um, of a volume kind of wave it's not really curls but it's more of a big volume wave kind of style so to answer your first question, was the price worth it? 100% yes, I would say yes. So if you guys live in um, Australia like I do, um, I do recommend buying it off Priceland when they are on sale, that way you do save a lot of money on it. So Priceland does um, sales on here, sometimes up to 30 to 40% off. I can't quite remember how much this was. It is in my other video down below if you want to check out the price that I purchased for this. But I have a feeling I did buy this for about $80 and it was on sale. So it definitely made the cost per wear out of this um, blow dry brush that I love so much. Um, I've been using this as I mentioned every time I wash my hair. I always use this to dry my hair now. So the next question that I did get was, did I regret my purchase? And I think it's quite obvious for the answer, no, I did not regret my purchase. I absolutely love it for just everyday um, kind of hairdo if I just want to straighten my hair and give it a bit of volume at the bottom. And I do want to curl my hair. You would need to use a hair dryer just to make sure that um, your hair is dried up. And then I would use a curling iron as well if you want to go for that curly kind of look. I do get a lot of questions as well about whether it's so loud or noisy or not because just my other video was so loud. No guys, it's actually not that loud. The sound of this is actually much quieter than a regular hair dryer. So the reason why it sounded so loud in my other video is because when I do um, record my videos, I do record them on my iPhone phone and the volume isn't very loud because I don't have a mic with me at the moment. So I actually have to increase the volume when I do edit my videos. That way when I do upload them, it may sound a little bit loud. So I do apologize for that in advance, but definitely not. So to answer your question, um, it is not that loud, honestly. Um, speaking of volume, 
as well um you will see at the bottom there's zero one and two so this is basically um the speed of their hair dryer so i normally put mine um on the number one there and it's not that loud if you put yours on number two it just makes a really really loud noise and it goes faster as well um, I think it's just to make it heat a bit more faster to make it more dry but I don't find that quite effective and just the top button there just there's a cool option and a hot option I do use um, the hot option just because I want it to be dried up I feel like the cool option just makes my scalp a bit cold so I don't really like that feature because I want to make this video 100% completely honest to you guys because you guys are technically like my friends on YouTube um, I'm going to share with you about the cons of this Remington blowout brush um, they're just quite minor they're not um, too big or so so one of the cons that um, I don't like about the Remington blowout brush is that when you dry your hair yes the bottom does dry and it does curl in quite nicely at the bottom and when you leave it in for um, some time to make sure that the heat does sink into the hair to keep its curl in place one of the cons that I did find when using this blowout brush is that when you do dry your hair from completely wet damp hair out of the shower um, the top part of your head, like where your scalp is, it's not completely dry, which I don't like it at all. It's just because um, the shape of this is in an oval shape, as you can see. So it can only go like up to there as high as it can go. So as you can see the gap in there, there is a bit of gap that it's not actually being dried, which I kind of find it a little bit um, frustrating for me that my bottom hair is dried, but my top is a little bit damp. It's just not completely dry. So if you guys just want to go out straight away after you hop on the shower, I do recommend using a hair dryer so you could dry your scalp and the top of your head completely dry before you use this to style the bottom part of your hair. The second con that I would say about this blow dry brush is that you do have to regularly take your hair off because it is like a brush. It's like a 360 brush basically guys. So if you keep on um, using this every day and you don't maintain it, your hair does clump up in this like a... Uh, kind of nest if you know what I mean so you do have to clean it out I typically clean it up every two or three weeks I do take it out just to make sure that everything is nice and clean and that my hair can be dried clearly with um, the holes um, freed up there so guys that is the end of the video for today guys thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helped you out in making your purchase decision on whether you want to purchase a blowout brush um, please drop a comment as well if you guys have a blowout brush on how you find it and whether you use this video to make your purchase decision and if you're new to my channel as well please give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment and subscribe as well so you will see more of my future videos thank you so much guys